foliage pretty easy use your uh, axe on a tree if the spitters do not come by and hit you again of course yeah that was bound to happen will i ever be able to make one video without getting killed Good evening folks, Mortuary here and welcome back to another episode of Boundless and remember if you like these videos make sure to let me know by uh, hitting that like button and uh, yeah let me know what you think about these videos by posting a little comment in the comment section below the video check the description of course uh, for more links and stuff like that but be sure to also subscribe to the channel so you will get notified when i post new content to the channel and today i logged on with marty poppins again and i wanted to continue my little uh, playthrough session but uh, uh, yeah i got a little notification that my campfire expired of course i forgot to tell you the last episode that the campfire only lasts for two hours so it's not permanent it lasts for two hours and yeah that's what happened so i lost my my campfire which is maybe a little bit annoying but that's gonna be okay since we uh, we can work with what we have so uh, let's continue our little um, introductionary objectives here we need to find get rocks and foliage let's do that so foliage pretty easy use your uh, axe on a tree if the spitters do not come by and hit you again of course yeah that was bound to happen will i ever be able to make one video without getting killed we will see only the future will tell okay let's let's get back let's get back i think he's gone no he's not i know he's not man I don't, I don't even have food on me i think oh nom, 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 nom. i do have some food on me so let's eat some food oh, there are two you have to be kidding me man what did i do to, des to deserve this okay <sighs> let me uh, try to switch to my other character and see if i can fix this i will be right back okay i am back and i have the impression that they are gone let's see if we can get something done so i need six more uh, furlage which is as i mentioned easy to get by hitting uh, the leaves of the trees with your axe and that should get you the stuff you need there you go the goal is now to actually upgrade to uh, the wooden tools uh, the stone tools because those are a bit better now i also need to go get myself some stone stone using the hammer there are some stone blocks right here so that should be fine too let's no that's not the hammer this is the hammer i need about 10 more well seven more since i already have three let's do that uh, the goal for this character will be to become a, a gatherer. I'm not really sure which type uh, of gatherer. I think primarily probably a miner. So someone who is specialized with hammers and stuff like that. But yeah, we will try to get to that probably later on. Okay. Craft a beacon control with the crafting table. Luckily, since my crafting table disappeared when I lost my beacon... Uh, I would have to make a new one not again not again not again okay so i finally got back in and the spitter seems to be gone so what i was trying to do was get to my crafting tables because i need to make a um, beacon control and a basic thingy so a beacon control is in here down here beacon control there you go i can make one of course i can and then i also need some basic beacon fuel which will require me to get some more foliage okay let's do that really quick get a little bit more foliage and then i will be able to make a beacon and the necessary fuel for that i think this will be enough let's ga grab one or two more there is actually no 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 spitters please okay this is good this is good i think it is good so contents i should have one beacon yes and then i should be creating some beacon fuel that's the other tip uh where is my beacon fuel here it is craft one there you go no oh. really <sighs> this 
this is not going to, be, going to be my day. And we do really have a little theme going on. I'm getting killed every five seconds now. Uh, let's try to swim across again. And keep our fingers crossed and hope that the stupid buggers are gone by now. They have been killing me, I think, about 10 or 20 times by now. At least five or six times already today. And then also a similar amount of time the last two episodes I recorded. So yeah, I'm getting my butt kicked by the stupid spitters. Um, okay, but I'm back. Are they still in the area? I think they will be. Okay, I think they're gone. I think they are gone. Contents. Let's pick up the fuel really quick. No, not in here, in this one. The fuel. There you go. So that's another little objective done. Equip and place the bacon in the area you wish to claim. So that's pretty easy. Put the beacon in your hand. And now place it somewhere. I might try to claim another spot. Because this is now actually already all taken by my main character, Mortuari. So what would happen if I would place it somewhere up here? Then I have one, two, three blocks in here to make a little road. And can I now place it here? I think I probably can. I don't think it matters all that much. Let's place it. There, I have my beacon. Interact. It says add the fuel to it, so no, the beacon is just temporary. If I add fuel to it, there you go, add. Now the beacon is fueled for three, for four weeks and it will not disappear anymore. So the plot view is the same as with the, the campfire. The only difference is this is now rather permanent, at least for four weeks. So as I mentioned in the last episode, I can give uh, permissions now to my other characters. Like Mortuary can do anything with this. And that's it. Some other thing I can do is change the color. But for that I need Gleam. So if I would have bluish Gleam, I could make sure that my plots are viewed as blue squares in this, instead of this purple. But this purple is actually pretty fine. So that's something you can do. Permissions, I've already seen that. Fuel, it has been fueled for at least another three weeks, four weeks. Um, then I will have, it's an unnamed beacon, I can rename it if I want to. Uh, home beacon, for now. I'm not really sure it will stay here. I might be removing it later or later on or uh, yeah, set this as my home beacon. Uh, there are too few fo plots to form a settlement in this area, try adding more plots. So I need to add more plots to my area in order to be able to become a settlement. And I think that's also how you will join up, up with uh, the, the rest of the settlement. Because there is actually already a sep settlement up here. A crier or craft a beacon plotter at the crafting table. So that's next. Recipes. It's in the crafting table. We have a beacon plotter. Craft one. It should be ready pretty fast. See, seven seconds. Okay, do it. It should be ready. The beacon plotter. Use it. Probably to claim a few more plots since I now have a couple of plots. Extend your beacon using plots. Uh, your area using... Well, let's do it like this. I have, I think, one plot. Yep, there you go. Oh, I have a couple more. Nice. So this one is now claimed. I will claim this one for now. And maybe that one too, for now. That's all my fur plots claimed. So I have fur plots of 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight blocks, which are now mine. So let's check again. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really allow me to do anything. I think it needs more plots in order to become a settlement. I'm not really sure about that yet though. But yeah, we can, we can fix that later on. So... Spend skill points. That's the next thing. Uh, I think I already mentioned that I would love this character to be a a uh, gatherer, and a gatherer. I'm probably thinking about for stones and 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 mines and stuff like that. So let's go to my 
character sheet. Press the top to go to your character menu. Then you have character and up here you have skills and you see that I have six skill points to spend and I have two, what's this called, uh, reset points, I think. Something like that. So I can remove one skill, two skill points if I misclick on something. Up here we have some attributes. Uh, we will not be going all too far into that. You should be able to find some some build tutorials uh, on uh, Yovitas uh, YouTube page. But basically, apparently, what I want for uh, a a uh, gatherer is apparently power to hit harder. So I will be hitting uh, blocks a lot harder if I raise this. Up to the top, I think it it's 25% additional damage damage to blocks. I uh, probably will need dexterity to hit the blocks faster. Uh, I will probably in the future need some uh, some luck to maybe get some more rare drops. I will probably also need some attributes, which actually is a bonus to all the attributes. And then, depending on what I want to do, I'm probably going to be investing in hammer mastery and things like that and yeah but that only unlocks at level 4 and there is some others or some other stuff tool crafting this is more crafting oriented crafting crafting but there there will be more things later on so currently let's go for i think i will go for hammer hammer so uh let's put one point in here well two points in here let's put two points into dexterity and then maybe hammers something like that and try to skill that up as quickly as possible confirm so that is now done i could use those two points to to actually right click and remove uh skill points i have spent but i don't really want to do that not yet not yet not yet discard discard the changes okay now I need to acquire food. Okay, a little update. I was a bit confused as to where uh, I, I got my base the last time. But there is a way to find that out. Press the tab key to go to your character menu. Then go to knowledge. And click on these buttons until you see everything related to food. Click on strawberry. And now you'll see it will drop from foliage. So, so instead of uh, hitting the, the ground with my shovel, I should be hitting foliage with my axe. So let me try to do that. And I will bring you guys back when I have some food to actually eat and fill up my hunger bar and get all my energy back. Okay, I am back. I kept hitting the foliage until I had some uh, berries. So now I need to equip the berries, put them in my hotbar, and then use the left or right mouse button. Depends on the hand you have equipped your food in to eat at least two. So let's uh, press and hold. One fade. That's the second one. Eat until you, are, you have the full up buff. So that's the third one. This will be the fourth one. Now I have the full up buff which will gradually also regenerate my uh, health. So that, that is nice. That's neat. That is nice. New tutorial objectives. I need to complete a objective in my uh, tutorial thing, in my journal. So let's go check journal. Complete in the, in the journal. Okay. If you build, they will come. I need to place some blocks. Okay. A spot for gardening. I have acquired grass. I need to mine grass. Let's pin all those and then the next time we can actually start doing that. But before we go, I will be checking something out. Uh, crafting recipes. Oh yeah, I can make stone tools. But that is something we will be doing the next time. At least now we have some food. We might be able to survive at least a little bit longer. So yeah, uh, I think this will be the end for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave some comments, suggestions, ideas or something like that in the comment section below the video. 
Check the description for links to social media pages, links uh, on ways to support me, links to the Twitch channel where I'm streaming a lot lately, and also a link to the Discord channel where you can hop on and have a chat with us. And while you're on the YouTube page, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. And that being said, I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. So until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye-bye.